podcasting from Hartford, you're listening to the Connecticut Scoreboard Podcast, your place for all things Connecticut sports. And here is your host, Jared Cutler. Joining me today, we've got Coach Sanders to preview the, the UConn game this weekend against his Binghamton Bearcats. So, Coach, thanks so much for joining the podcast today. Thank you. Thanks for having me. So, Coach, I, I want to get a little bit of background on yourself. I know you've been with Binghamton dating back to 2019, but this is your first season as the head coach. How, how have the first few games for you been as head coach? You know, I was a head coach overseas, so it's, it's not like my first experience. Um, but, yeah, it's, 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 been, it's been fun. I've been, you know, having fun. Um, I, I'm enjoying being back in a position where, you know, I get a chance to, you know, make decisions and, and, and those kind of things. So it, it's, it's, it's been going well. Good. As you, you know, start your first year here as head coach at Binghamton and, and looking at, at the program here, what are, what are kind of your goals for this first year with Binghamton in terms of, of helping to, to build this program and continue to build it? Yeah, you know, we, we just we're just trying to be we're just trying to you know establish you know a, a, a winning culture, you know, and you know that that doesn't happen overnight. But you know, we're we're trying to you know put our players in position um, to be successful, you know, on and off the court when they you know because I think sometimes a lot of people get caught up in just the basketball, but I think it's, it's bigger than basketball. You know, we have a lot of guys. Um, you know, that, that, that I think more important is, is for them to be young men, um, to be responsible, um, especially in, you know, the way, way things are going in the world. So, um, you know, to, to graduate these kids and have them have meaningful experiences is, is, is important to me. Um, and then just on, on, on the basketball side is, you know, you, 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 you want to be successful. You know, you want to win games, you want to have fun. Um, you want to play an ex- exciting style of basketball. Um, those those are the things that you know you you, you want to try to do. Um, you know when you when you have a program. Being three games into the season here, and you know heading into this game against UConn, what have you liked so far about your team heading into the game this weekend? Um, well, I like I like how hard we play. You know we we've been playing you know, we've been playing hard, and I think all of the games that we've played so far, we you know we've been having really good intensity. Um, I thought our first two games we did a really good job of, of attacking um, the offensive the offensive glass. You know, I, I try to get our guys to, to create extra possessions. You know, on on nights when you're not going to shoot it well, you know, you can get some extra possessions. Um, you know, that helps out a lot. So that's been that's been going well. Um, I, I thought we've been doing a solid job defending. Um, first game against Cornell was. I mean, we we gave up entirely too many back doors, and we and we knew that was going to be a problem. I think that's a hard thing to play against. You don't see that every day. It's hard to play against those teams that you know cut back door, cut back door, cut back door. Um, but besides the, the, the back doors, I thought we we were solid defensively. So uh, we got to we got to continue to to play you know solid defense. Um, one thing that I do want us to to do better is. You know, I think we need to we need to speed, speed up our tempo. I, I don't think we've been playing at a fast enough pace. Um, I think we, need, you know, I want us to push the ball from down the court a little bit more. Um, and uh, you know, first first two games, first few games, you know, just because we've been down some 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 bodies, I think guys have kind of, you know, playing a lot more minutes than I would I, I would want. You know, we've had Jake Falco in the first two games. He was thirty nine minutes, which is way way too many minutes. Um, so. Now that we're getting some of our guys, you know, back, I think that we, you know, we can kind of split those minutes up, and then I think guys can can really get the tempo, you know, being at a faster pace. For UConn fans who might be tuning in to see Binghamton play for the first time, can you give us a name or two of players that the fans should keep their eye on that that'll be uh, playing a big role for your team? Yeah, so it, it, you know, they might be familiar with Jonathan McGriff, who is a, is a transfer from St. John's, even though he didn't play that much at St. John's, um, but He's our starting point guard, and you know he plays an exciting style of basketball. He's super quick, has a really, really good handle, and kind of get wherever he wants to get on the court. Um, so he, you know, I think that he'll he'll be a guy that you know fans would enjoy. In our first game, played against played against um, Cornell. He 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 was really had our our gym, you know, on on you know guys were on their feet because he's. You know the way he handles the ball and the way the passes he can make, um, and it's it's not it's not anything 
um, that he's trying to do is just it's just his game, just how he plays. Um, he's a, he's a, he's an excited player, so you know, I think he's a guy that you know fans will probably enjoy. Um, and then you know we have a guy like Tyler Bertram who you know last game he made seven for ten from threes, three point three point three point line. So he's a really good shooter. So he's a he's a guy that I think you know fans would keep keep, keep an eye on, even though. You know, Connecticut does a really good job of defending, and I'm pretty sure they'll be focusing on those guys. So, uh, but those those are two guys who uh, I think that they can watch out for. Great. I, I know you you prepared for for UConn in the past as a player coming from Seton Hall and playing UConn in those Big East days. What do you remember about some of those matchups that you had against UConn back in the day? Well, I, I always, I always, especially playing you know playing in in, in Hartford. You know, it was always a, a rowdy crowd. There was the, the, the UConn has a, a great following. You know, I even remember some of our games. I remember we played against, I don't remember what year it was. Maybe it was my sophomore year we played against UConn. I want to say they were ranked like number four in the country. And we were playing at then the Meadowlands. Um, and it was like, it was a soul, it was so loud. It was about 19,000. And I want to say, you know, it was like over 5,000 UConn fans that came for the game. So um, I, I, I remember, I, rem- I definitely remember that um, about, about UConn just, the atmosphere when you when you play against them is always electric. And, and then you you were teammates with Dan Hurley, right? When when uh, you guys overlapped at Seton Hall. Yeah, yeah, we we played together for two years. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I know fans are starting to get to know him more and more now that he's been here a few years as a coach. But what was he like as a teammate when when you played with him? Nothing like he is as a, as a, as, a, as a coach. I tell you that. <laughs> um, <laughs> You know, he he was man. Danny was was a real cool guy. I mean, I, I me coming in as a freshman, um, you know, he was somebody that I had I didn't know personally, but of course I knew who he was. Um, and you know, he was a really good teammate. You know, he was a he was a funny guy. You know, he um, joked all the time, which you know it doesn't seem like he does that now as a coach, but um you know he was a, he was a real fun guy to, to, to be a teammate of um and he was a really good player you know i don't know how much you call a fan knows by him but he was a he was a really really good player so i learned a lot from him, um my days at seed hall yeah no it, it's gonna be a fun matchup seeing you go up against uh yukon again and against one of your former teammates there so so coach yeah. I, I really appreciate the time best of luck tomorrow and best of luck the rest of the season All right, man. Thank you. Thanks for listening to the Connecticut Scoreboard Podcast with Jared Cutler. If you like the show and want to know more, check out the podcast on Twitter at CT Scoreboard Pod, the host at Jared Cutler, and find us on Facebook at the Connecticut Scoreboard Podcast. Finally, if you enjoy what you're listening to, rate and review us on iTunes. Thanks again for listening.